My name's Chris Conley and I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. My family was kind of a uh, small town country people. You kind of had two broken people. My mom's mom died when she was five. My dad was abandoned as a child, just left in a police car to be found by authorities. They fall in love, but unintentionally, it's broken up. I see that. I see that. The smallest thing would escalate to a place that was totally out of control. We respected my dad, but we were also afraid of my dad. As a high school dropout, he's now not only a member at a country club, but has become the club champion numerous times. Chris, how in the hell did you triple boogie 18? Can't believe it! It didn't have to be verbalized. It was, you're good, but you're not good enough. My brother was more like a father to me than a big brother. He played golf great, people liked him. He was recruited by the University of Florida. He just shot 64, he's incredibly excited. He's coming to tell his dad and his brother what he just shot. That day began to define my life in so many ways. <laughs> Chris Conley, the golfer. Chris Conley, supposed to carry the Conley legacy, was dying. But I just didn't grow up in church. I didn't resonate with church. Church didn't make sense to me. I'm trying to read God's word. I'm trying to pray. I'm trying to do all that to not be my dad, and yet I'm being my dad. He said, I believe if, if you go have that conversation with your dad, there will be healing beyond anything that you can